G'day, welcome back to Lifelong Strong. I'm Ben Goodbrand. Today we're adding the finishing touches to our home gym build. In the first two videos, we added our strength and conditioning components. Today, to finish off the build, we're gonna add some optional but totally worthwhile pieces. Let's get started. The first thing many people consider when setting up a home gym is a big, expensive treadmill. Do your walking and running outside and instead invest in a quality assault bike or rower for your high intensity interval training. At over $1,000, consider this an optional piece for your home gym. Dumbbells are versatile but can get pricey for a good selection of different weights. A cheaper option is something like these adjustable dumbbells. They can be set from 1 to 40 kilograms each with the added benefit of taking up less space than a full range of dumbbells. Prices start at about $350. All the equipment we've added so far needs a home, so we're going to need some storage. There are all sorts of racks and hooks available and it can get expensive, so it pays to spend a good amount of time planning what you need. Take measurements of the space available and the equipment you plan to store. Also, consider having the storage cater for any future additions planned for your gym. From here, it really comes down to details. Some cheap but useful additions like resistance bands and power bags will give you an even greater variety of exercises to choose from. Mirrors are a great way to check your form while exercising, and a TV will allow you to view video tutorials or full workouts as you go. So that finishes off our home gym build. We'll get all the strength and conditioning work we'll ever need from this setup. I hope you enjoyed this build. Please leave me a comment to let me know how you set up your home gym. That's all for now. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release a new video. See you next time.